Hey guys, Matt Allen here. Welcome back to Tactical Bassin. Today we are on McGee Creek in southeast Oklahoma. We are only here for one day and we're getting a bright and early 2 p.m. start. So come along with us. Neither one of us have ever fished in Oklahoma, but we are gonna give it a go, see if we can figure out some of this murky water, and get some bites before we head on down the road. We have already had six topwater bites. Cece's throwing a whopper plopper. I'm throwing a frog. The fish are taking it down. The fish are dirt shallow. We're getting bitten a foot, maybe two feet of water, but they all seem to be pretty small fish. Word is there's really good fish in this lake. So we're gonna keep going for now, even though we're missing all these bites. We're fishing right by the launch ramp. We just put in, got on the first bank, started fishing. Uh, but if we go a little bit farther, maybe to the end of this pocket and haven't caught one, we're gonna run around and see if we can find some better structure. I'm about to scream. What are you about to do? Fish with a popper. So we keep getting blow ups and the fish keep missing. So switched over to a popper and I'm about to mess them up. <laughs> It's a tiny bass, but it's an Oklahoma bass. It's, it's also a spotted bass. Mom. We are making a pattern of this go to a new state, catch a spot bass. thing. Bass. Oh. Got, got, got one! Little guy. Cece went to the popper. She's starting to hook a lot of her bites. I went to a fluke, starting to hook mine. We just had to adapt a little bit to get these fish. Here, look. Let me go. A little baby one. Look at him. Baby. <laughs> There's good ones in here somewhere. We're going to find them. We finally got a decent largemouth. We ran way up the lake. We didn't want to run to the end because we really don't have a lot of time, but we ran to an area that's extremely shallow in the back of a pocket, which gives us sort of a, a small downsized version of the end of the lake. We wanted to see if we could get some largemouth going up here in the ultra shallow water. The boat is in a foot and a half of water and that fish was all the way up there right on the bank. These fish are ultra, ultra shallow. Ha! <laughs> 
that whopper plopper. Ultra, ultra shallow. I haven't caught fish this shallow in a long time. I mean, they're up on like a six to 10 inch flat way back in the grass. Matt gave me my rod back. Of course, I catch the <laughs> spotted bass behind your two. Called him right out of that stump. We definitely are not getting monster fish, but we're getting a lot of action considering we're on a place we've never been. Fish, again, are ultra, ultra shallow. Fish in windblown banks. Any little piece of cover or grass seems to have fish on it. We're just gonna keep charging for a couple more hours and hopefully we come across a big one. We don't have enough history here to run around and replicate this a bunch, but we're getting so many bites, we're just gonna stick to it. We definitely have a pattern now. We're on these windblown banks, ultra shallow, and anywhere that we've got wood stick-ups, the fish are right up against the stick-ups. We aren't exactly lighting the world on fire here so far today on McGee Creek, but we are catching a pile of fish and hopeful that we're gonna stumble on a big one before it's over. Nice largey. Five pounder just jumped off at least we finally saw one of the fish that this place is known for school of fish right here Know they had those here, which would officially make this another grand slam. All right, guys, we're gonna wrap it up here. Before today, neither Cece nor I had ever fished in Oklahoma. Uh, been here, but never had the opportunity to fish. McGee Creek definitely did not disappoint. We were looking forward to fishing some murkier water. We got that. Uh, visibility here was, depending on where we were, zero to 18 inches of visibility. Uh, got to fish a lot of standing timber. Got stuck about 40 different times like we are right now, but had a really good time. We did not land any really big fish, but caught a huge variety of spots in largemouth and did hook into one fish that would at least do this place proud, uh, about a five pounder that did laps on the side of the boat. It wasn't quite ready to come in and just popped off. Uh, that was a really nice fish. 
blew the one opportunity that this place gave me. But we did get to catch a lot of fish. We had a lot of fun. If you're ever in the area, be sure and check this place out. We're just going to keep right on going, guys. Uh, expect to see us in Missouri and Arkansas next. And we'll just keep right on trucking from there. We hope you're enjoying coming along with us on the road. This is going to go on for quite a while. So again, keep your eyes peeled for us out on the road, at the restaurants, when you go to the lake. You just never know where we're going to pop up. And we would love the opportunity to sit and talk with you for a few minutes. Uh, conditions here, I didn't even tell you. We've got storm front coming in. Water temp 72 degrees. I have no idea when these fish spawned, uh, but the fish are way up shallow. The fish we went after were way up shallow. Uh, we did our best work with a whopper plopper, buzz bait, popper, soft jerk bait. Got a bunch of blow ups on the frog, but couldn't hook them, but we never got a big blow up on the frog or obviously we would have got that fish. But the whopper plopper 110 in the bone color definitely stood out as our primary bait. It was a lot of fun. So anyway, if you enjoyed the video, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and we'll talk to you soon.